Hey Collective, we're going to do a quick energy check, see what the Divine Archangels need you to know at this time as you're navigating through your journey, ascending to your highest good, I've called in the appropriate protection, it is a timeless reading, it's whenever it finds you, so I want to see what's blocking you guys from moving forward, what's blocking you, for some of you guys, it's the inability to speak your truth. Um, be honest either with your, whether it's with other people or with yourself um, you know some of you I don't know why spirits making me I, I grab my keychain that says New Orleans some of you guys may be from New Orleans you may be thinking of traveling to New York New Orleans um, I see this group of people playing like all these instruments outside Mardi Gras I'm thinking of right now I don't know, some of you guys might like playing the guitar. I don't know what that might have to do with this, but what is blocking the soul tribe from stepping out of their past and walking into their future? Some of you guys, it's the inability of forgiving people. Wanting to forgive people. You don't have to forgive them face to face. You could just forgive them from a distance and learn to just write them a letter, burn that shit, and keep writing that letter until you no longer feel that anger, that hurt, that pain from this person or whoever these people are. Um, for some of you guys, that's what's not allowing you guys to stay balanced, okay? Spirit said this is the truth, okay? You're trying to balance yourself, but... Some of you guys are doing, he did this, he did this, he did this, but not taking self-reflecting on what did I do? How did I do handle things to contribute to whatever the situation may have been? Okay. Was I being a little emotionally detached and not considerate of another person's feelings and just selfish? But me, 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 me. Because let's face the facts, guys. We do that, right? We're being honest. Because the only person you, you need to be honest with is yourself and the divine. Because when you're, we're all under judgment. And God is judging you by your intentions. Okay? Some of you guys, it's stress. Um, some of you guys. It's the not being able to make decisions. Okay. Some of you guys was stopping you from moving from your past into your present is the fact that um, it's the material things, the worldly things, right? The Queen of Pentacles is all about the worldly things. Some of you guys, it's Whatever the obsession, the, the, not obsession, the, um, maybe the obsession, maybe, let's be honest, it came out, right? Some of you guys, it's your temper. You're easily angered. Some of you guys, um, maybe some of you guys are easily angered because you've been hurt before. That's a heal, healing you need to do. So what I've learned in this path, in this path, guys, is... When people trigger us, people, everybody that's brought into our life, they're meant to be a reflection for us, okay? A mirror for us of what we need to heal. So when we're easily triggered, that spirit's way of showing us, hey, you might need to work on that. You might need to heal that. What about that situation, that person, that thing, that emotion is triggering you? Die deep. Okay? Hi, Archangel Michael. <laughs> so for some of you guys, that's what's keeping you guys at that night energy where you're not able to evolve and you're staying stagnant in the night energy. Okay? For some of you guys, it's your children. Some of you guys don't want to walk away from your children. Some of you guys are like, well, 
I'm never going to walk away from my kid. Well, sometimes, you know what? You got to be honest. Your kid was a karmic. Your kid is a karmic. Okay? It's about putting the work in, in yourself and being honest with yourself. Some of you guys, it's the worldly things. It's the celebrities. It's the Facebook. It's the Krishan Vogue, the blue face drama. Whatever's going on with the Kardashians, I don't fucking know. You know? For some of you guys, it's feeling black. Some of you guys need to get a clue. It's being enlightened to you. If this if this message triggers you, there's something you need to heal within yourself then. Okay? I'm just calling it what I see it. Some of you guys lack confidence in yourself. For some of you guys, you've been stabbed in your back too many times and you just don't even know how to get back up. I'm seeing two, three, four right now. You take those swords out, collective, and you stand the fuck up. Do you understand me? How do I stand up, Liz? You call on Archangel Michael to help release and clear any energy that may be blocking you from stepping forward. How do I know what to call it? Even if you don't know what it is that's blocking you, they know. Archangel Michael, I don't know what it is that's blocking me, but I feel this block in my energy. Please come, come, come draw close to me at this time and cut the cords. I don't know what it is, Archangel Michael, but I feel it in my energy. It's blocking me. And guess what? They will do it. You can't do it one time. You have to keep doing it. Some of you guys don't know how to make decisions. You stay stuck in not making a decision. Whatever this is, I just want to see what's blocking you guys from moving forward. Some of you guys, you give too much than getting. It has to be an equal give and take. Some of you guys holding on. Holding on to emotions, betrayal, trauma. Some of you guys are holding yourself back. Some of you guys are holding on to things that don't need to be held on to. It has to be an equal give and take. In this journey, you can't be a giver all the time. You have to be open to receive. This is one of the things we have to learn on this path. Because when we give, 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 people stab, stab, stab. They keep taking, 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 depleting you. If your cup is empty, how can you give? You need to pause Fill that cup back up, self-care, self-love, and learn to say no when it's a fucking no. 848. That number has been following me. Blocking my soul tribe, archangels, holy spirit, ancestors of the highest word light. Show me the cards I need to see. What's blocking my soul tribe from moving forward, please and thank you. What is it that we need to see here? What's blocking my beautiful soul tribe from ascending to their highest good? Show us the cards we need to see, please and thank you. Holy Spirit. Some of you guys, it's communication. Some of you guys, yeah, there's a change. 
in your path. Transformation, higher archangels at Cal. Yeah, message. This is your message for some of you guys. Some of you guys are getting a message of happiness. Some of you guys are getting triggered by this message, a message of concern. I don't know. Some of you, I don't get mad when tarot readers, like the old me, when I was watching tarot a lot, um, I noticed <laughs> what I was getting triggered by. <laughs> and I used to get mad. Like, oh, he's back with the karmic? What? Ah! Right? But I started realizing, why am I sitting here watching what the fuck he's doing or what's going on? Who the hell cares? This person's living their best life while I'm sitting here watching theirs? Well, then what the hell am I doing with mine? Wasting my life? And I just... I just stopped. And then I started... um realizing it's not to watch it's to learn what is triggering me so i can heal that right instead of looking at the message as a what he's back with the karmic oh my god i said like, oh great for him okay you know he's back with the karmic that's the life he wants. Let him be. Let me continue on my path. What can I do to make myself a better person? Fuck what he or she or they are doing. Who cares? I don't. I stopped. Yeah, because it was making me sit like this. Miss opportunities because I was so focused on he, she, they. Whatever that is for you guys. I had to change the way I was looking at things. And when I would get triggered, Spirit was showing me, hey, you're not looking at this right. You're being triggered. I started learning what, what was triggering me, what needed to still be healed within me. Because then I was sabotaging by not healing these things. I was getting mad. So if I'm getting mad, that's a low vibration. If I'm feeling hurt or betrayal again, that's a low vibration. There's something I need to heal there. There's something that's keeping me stuck, holding on to this, right? Be honest. I was exchanging energy, wondering what they, he, she, they were doing instead of balancing the scales for myself and healing myself. Good afternoon. They're like, what? I say this to the kids all the time. They come into the class and they be like, good morning. I be like, good afternoon. They be like, what? <laughs> what else, Spirit? Yeah. Paranoid, watching what's going on. Just sitting there stuck. No, I don't give a hell. Um, For some of you guys, you guys are discovering that this is, you're being triggered and you need to heal. Maybe some abandonment issues still need to be healed. Maybe, um, you know, for some of you guys, when you're watching stuff, you start isolating yourself and going within, right? Trapping yourself in that pain and in in lost in thought again, right? Be honest. Some of you guys are going to love this message. And some of you guys are going to get mad about this message that I put out. You're going to be like, thank you, Liz. I didn't realize that was that was what was triggering me. Some of you guys are going to get angry and this message will trigger you. And then some of you guys will be like, thank you, Liz. It's all about what you're giving your energy to. Realize where you're putting your energy. What's depleting your energy. What's taking from your energy? What is it? Self-growth. Guys, it's about ascending. We shouldn't be focusing on what another person is doing. It should be about what we need to do. How are we meeting our goals? 
how are we handling this world and 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 um people that are coming into our life identifying when to when to um From people not staying in a situation too long, right? When we start feeling tension in our bodies, right? Because sometimes we don't feel the emotion. Correct. Spirit's in confirmation. Sometimes we feel it in our physical body, right? That's a way for us to know. Hey, mm -mm. been here, done that. Let me walk away from this situation before, you know, it physically... hinders me takes me back to a place that I don't want to be mm -hmm. I can never make it up takes me back to a place I don't want to be what is that place confused stressed feeling lack because the four pentacles four pentacles could also represent Feeling lack, closed, lack of stability where you're holding on to the last little pentacles you have, where you feel like you can't get, you can't spend because you fear that you can't get this back, right? It could also be the ego of a person holding on to their own beliefs, all of, all of the material, you know, all of their 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 material um, abundance not moving for not moving, so they hold on to the last little bit that they have, right? Hope that makes sense to y'all. <laughs> ah, spirit. Mhm. Mm yeah. It's about walking away, evolving, expanding. The old way of thinking. Letting go. Ascending the mountain. Did I not just say that? I love when I give you guys readings. Yeah, transformation, baby. It's about taking what you've learned. Okay? And making a decision to either let it go. Transformation. Allow yourself to gain clarity and hold that sort of truth of you knowing what's good for you, what's not. These are beautiful cards. Yes. Walking towards your happiness. Ascending the mountain. And, and actually listening to your intuition. Okay. We all have, we all have free will. Now, what we do with that free will, that's up to us, right? When I look at this card, this is this this wand is shorter than this wand, right? This person is holding on to this is their higher self, this is their lower self, right? This person's made a decision and they're holding on to their higher self. This higher self wand, if you notice on this brick, there's flowers, there's hearts blooming. This person is being led by their heart's desires now, right? Okay, this is where things will blossom for this person. They have the world, the hearts, the flowers in their hands, right? If this person would have held on to this one, this is their lower self. There's nothing. It's just a brick wall. Which direction will you go? How do, you, how do we choose to view situations? Do we look at it as a negative? Or can we look at these negatives and transmute it into positive? Mm -hmm. It's about making decisions and being confident in it. Queen of Wands actually really going within soul searching standing in your truth standing at your post standing in your confidence final messages please and thank you
Oh, these cards never let me do it this way. I cannot stand it sometimes. Sometimes I just want to do it flipping that way. But it never allows me to. Final messages for this reading and the Divine Soul Tribe. So for some of you guys, you guys are giving more than you guys are receiving. Some of you guys are holding on to your resources like you're never going to get more. That's a lack mentality. Some of you guys are holding on to ego. I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. Some of you guys are focused on he, she, and they instead of focusing on healing yourself, evolving, ascending. Some of you guys... Um, you're in a confusing state of mind. Okay, some of you guys are like, I don't know what it is that needs to be healed. I don't know what I need to do. It's all in your face. There's multiple things. You're just refusing to see it. You're refusing to take accountability and acknowledge it. Some of you guys, it's walking away from people. Some of you guys, it's the fact that you can't make a decision. Okay? I see here, Collective, that you're going to make the best decision possible on your path. The Magician with the Ace of Swords and the Sun, this is letting me know that you will have this transformation. You will gain clarity on whatever decisions you guys need to make. You guys will see the truth and what is blocking you. For you guys, this is going to be different for everybody. This is not a personal reading. Once again, it is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. I see you guys walking into your happiness. I see it. This is this is this these three cards right here telling me you will gain control. Okay? Whatever this is, you're going to stand at your post. And you guys are going to be confident doing this. Okay? Some of you guys, you need to nurture yourself. Go do something good for yourself. Okay? Go and do something good for yourself today. Leap of faith and a goddess. Trust. Some of you guys are like, I only have this amount of money in my bank account. I can't spend it. Go get your nails done. Go get a petty. Trust that that money will triple in your bank account. I love you, God. As Sherry Ancestors, I've been seeing 555 five, five a lot, 55, number 5, everywhere, 333. Three, three. Oof, it's been everywhere. Mm hmm. Power animal. Mm hmm. Go outside, spirit said. Some of you guys are trapped in your house too much. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Trust that every dollar spent triples in your bank account. Fertility. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. That condition is releasing the lack mentality and trusting that the divine will provide to you. You are a powerful light, light worker. You are a, a manifester. You have the ability to manifest triple into your bank account. Use your resources. Use your tools. Trust. Okay? This is what I have. Love and light.